Okay. Okay. Hi guys. Happy uh, Wednesday. <laughs> and the last Wednesday of 2020, can you guys believe the year is over? Like I'm like tripping out a little bit that the year just like blew by so fast, but I am so ready for 2021 and everything that um, is in front of us. We always have, like, we have such amazing opportunities at our fingertips. And like, I know that the next year is going to be even more incredible than this year, despite a pandemic and everything that went on in the world, our tribe still really and truly thrived. <laughs> and I am just so proud of every single one of you guys. And I wanted to address that since it is the last, um, Wednesday huddle um, of this year. Um, and I'm so excited for tonight, you guys. I have an amazing woman uh, that I'm going to unmute here in a minute just so that we can um, chat with her. I'm going to ask her a few questions and, and let her talk. And I just really felt like this was going to be a good way to close out the year because her story um, and her tenacity um, her perseverance is really, it speaks to my soul. Um, this industry has a lot of people come in and go out. And that's just the reality. Um, a lot of people don't know how to fight for something. And Roxy is a true and honest fighter. Um, and so I'm so, so, so excited to introduce, introduce you guys to her tonight. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unmute her. She's going to share a little bit about herself. Um, and her, I just saw people are in the waiting room. <laughs> I have to try to figure out how to do this at the same time and speak. I suck. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to unmute her so that she can tell a little bit about her story. Um, and we're just going to go through some stuff. And I really hope that it speaks to your guys' heart as much as her story speaks to mine. So give me one second to find her now. Um, Roxy, can you unmute yourself? Oh, here she is. I can. Oh, there you yes. go. Go ahead. Yay. Share a little bit about your story. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I have to say that this is a dream of mine. I would sit in front of my kids and I would just pretend like I was, you know, a leader and I, um, and, and I'm here. So this is so amazing. I'm so glad I'm here with you guys. So, um, First of all, my name is Roxanne. Um, I am a hot, hot mess. My girls are two. I have three girls and they keep me on my toes. I have um, I have been in this industry, well, not industry, sorry, this uh, Thrive for a year now. And um, I took a chance on myself. I'm that hot mess mom that took a chance on herself. So um, my year has been really crazy and I'm so glad that I'm here and that I locked arms with Audrey and um, things are going to be different this year. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to get good at unmuting myself because I always just start talking and I'm like, Oh, I'm just kidding. You didn't hear anything I said. Um, so I am so excited because you guys, as we are going through these questions that I have for Roxy, I think you're going to be able to hopefully see what I've seen over the past like month. There's just been this massive shift. And I think we all have our moment, which is why I titled this don't miss your moment, because we all have this moment where it's like a light bulb. And I guarantee you anybody who is like actually running and working their business and has clarity there, they are able to tell you that moment when it was just like, this makes sense. And um, I feel like Roxy had that recently. And so I wanted, I want you, Roxy, to share with them um, kind of just like where your mindset was and like what you were doing to work your business like a year ago um, so that they can kind of understand where you were in your mind like before. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So first of all, I was so scared. I was, I was letting fear take over, um, and take over and control me. So, um, for, with me, like my upline, I don't, um, she became like an active on social media and, um, and I had a dream. I, I wanted this. I, I linked arms with her because I had this dream that I wanted to make, you know, I wanted to be that mom that could stay home and be, didn't have to go to work. And, um, I could have easily let her be coming and active. Um, I could have a really easy way to give up. Um, and I, I did for a moment, I let that kind of get to me. And then, um, and then I, I just, I saw my dream again and I was like, no, I can't give up doing this. So, um, I wasn't, I had a really bad mindset a year ago. I, um, 
I was making every excuse to give up, um, especially not having that leader with me and um, stop believing in myself. I, I did it, you know, I wanted a really quick, um, I wanted a quick fix with a really crappy mindset. And um, I knew I had to get over that. And I knew I had to work on myself before I could be a leader or before I could um, do anything. So I was, a, I had a really crappy mindset and I was not being intentional at all. And that is why my first year was a struggle for me. So, yeah. <laughs> I think when, Ro when Roxy opened up to me um, about like her first year and how, um, how it was, I think we both, when she was like kind of saying it, I think we both knew that like she needed to like change things, right? Like things needed to change and she knew she needed to change, but she wasn't really a hundred percent sure. Um, so now if you want to just like kind of tell them about where your mindset's now, like over the past month, when you, like you really were able to like call yourself out and like how you've been able to switch that. Um, I think that this is like one of the most powerful parts of your story. <laughs> okay. So I did, I looked in the mirror and I was like, okay, girlfriend, like you, I was, um, I wrote down goals, but I wrote down dreams and goals that were kind of towards Katie's goals. Cause I look up to Katie a lot. And um, I was, I was realizing that I was kind of living in her goals and like imposter syndrome. And um and I started really, I called myself out. I called BS out. I looked in the mirror and I was like, okay, hey, you got to get it together because you have three little girls out there and they, they need you and they need a present mom. And you are eventually going to show them the example that, that they can put, they can do whatever their, um, you know, whatever their dreams are. And um, so when I started writing down my goals and my dreams, I realized that not all of them were the same as Katie's not all of them the same as Audrey's or everyone else's. I realize that this is Roxy. Like, you know, they say all the time, like you're the secret sauce to your own business. And, um, and so I started being very grateful for, um, for all those little milestones. When I got a promoter, when I got a, I got a, um, a customer, I was so grateful for it. I, when I got a potential in my inbox, I was so grateful for that. I'm like, this girl, I'm going to make her, she's going to be on my team soon. And, or she's going to be a customer. She needs this. And I was just so grateful for things like that. I started pouring into myself every morning before I started pouring into other people. And my mindset, my mind um, that just switched so quickly. I started doing those I am that everyone does every morning I started really looking in the mirror and telling myself those things and if I didn't believe it I would say it over and over until I was like making myself cry and um I just I literally had to you know oh my gosh it's just I'm, I, it's just so amazing but um looking up to to Audrey as well you know I followed her for a while and um sorry I followed her for a while and I started getting into like this comparison where I was like, okay, like everyone's going for K every stuff, but I'm not doing it. So I stopped comparing myself and I started running with them. Um, so just, you know, I looking up to being um, into getting into our team chats and really staying fire being on these Zooms, like um, I, that's, that's what switched my mindset and that's what's different for me now. I love that so much. I'm over here like, yes, you guys, I, when, when Roxy got into my inbox and we started chatting and she told me that she had been following me and that, um, you know, she really wanted somebody to like, you know, to, to work with, um, and, and really like, you know, have, have that, have that connection because her upline did leave. Um, I was like, yeah, girl, like I'd totally love to support you, you know? And, and then I want, I've watched in such a short amount of time, her go from somebody who seemed so, like she just was not confident in herself to now she's just like over here, just like, just beaming on this zoom. Do you guys just see her just like glowing? And I'm just so freaking proud. And I'm um, just, I'm so, I'm so happy. So would you say like, like, what would you say? Like, was your turning point in like making that shift? Like where did, what was your turning point to like make that decision? Like what made it happen? Like you were just like, I just can't do this anymore. Like I want this, like what made you really make that decision? Because I know that there's a lot of people that we're sitting here and it's the end of 2020. And if you haven't hit your goals, maybe you're sitting here thinking, I don't know if this is for me. 
you know what I mean? And that, that happens. And so I think that your story is so powerful because you never gave up, like you have so much fight. And so I want you to share that with them. Like what made you change your mind? And then what would you, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who's sitting there right now? And they're just like wondering, and like, they're struggling with that imposter syndrome and they're comparing them to, uh, you know, comparing themselves to top leaders, just like you did. What would your best advice for them be? Okay, so my turning point would have to be when um, it started getting closer to the end of the year, and I was like, okay, you are not going to go in with this crappy mindset into 2021, like, um, you, you, what are you doing? Like, I, I had to, you know, just like before, I had to call myself out on stuff like that, and that was really my turning point, was just, um, just it being the end of the year, and saying, I want to be a leader, but I'm not going live. I want to be a leader, but I can't, you know, I'm telling my people to go and get their free products, but I can't, you know, I'm not even trying to get mine. So um, I was like, Hey, if I'm, if I'm telling them to do it, I better be doing it myself. So um, just, that was it for me. Just that, you know, um, getting closer to the year and knowing that I had to change because if I was going to, if I went into this, the, if I stayed the same, like I, it would be the same, you know, I would, I would, um, it would defeat the purpose of why I started this business, you know, why I linked arms, and why I took this opportunity. So um, my advice to you is just don't give up. So um, don't let fear control you. Don't let fear take over you. Um, a year ago, like this whole year that I've been in here, I made $300. Um, and that was because I wasn't giving it my all. Um, the month that I switched my mindset, I made three hundred dollars that month. So, if I can make three hundred dollars a month, what else can't I do? Like, you know, so switch your mindset. Start working on yourself. Um, and I need you to listen. Like, you have a unique, a unique purpose here, and um, you're on this Zoom for a reason because you want more. You have a dream, and um, but you need to get out and be uncomfortable. You have to get out of your comfort zone because you're not going anywhere in your comfort zone. Make fear your companion and run along with it because you're not going to see your purpose or develop your purpose if you um, if you can't face those fears. So if life is your fears like just do it press the play the button my daughter does it all the time my first couple lives I was like I can't do this I would talk myself out of it and I would tell her just press the button because I can't so she would press the button for me and then I would just go live and it eventually it's still scary but it gets a little bit easier and um it, it starts to become fun that's what I like about this is it's not like something I'm gonna stress about anymore because um, I see how much it really can change my life in just one month that I changed my mindset. So you can do it. <laughs> I'm seriously so, I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited. I absolutely love um, seeing growth in women. Um, I think that that is one of the most powerful things about what it is that we do. You know, the money is awesome being able to be, you know, at home um, with my, my babies and making an income is, is amazing. It, I will, I will never, um, ever, ever de deny that it's, it's incredible. I've done it for four years now, but there's nothing better, um, than, pouring into other people and being able to see their growth and watch them grow. Um, and so as we're closing out this year, I encourage you that if you're, if you're looking only at yourself and you're looking at your goals and you're looking into 2021 and you kind of have doubt and you're still letting fear control you, can I just ask you to tonight as you're sitting down, instead of looking just at your goals, think about the mom that's out there that's waiting for you and only you. Like you're the one who has the key to unlock that confidence, the key to unlock her hope, um, to give her the, um, the, the confidence and the um, support that she needs to be able to really change her life. Like we're not only doing this for us. Our our decisions, our ripple effects, whether they're to, to keep going or to turn, around, uh, to turn around and go the other way, we're gonna either ripple effect positive or ripple effect negative. And I want to encourage you guys as we're going into 2021, let's be a massive tidal wave of positivity and change and growth um, 
within every single people, every single person that we come into contact with. So um, I know this was like super short and sweet, but that's kind of what we wanted. To, <laughs> we kind of wanted to do. Um, I wanted Roxy to be able to share her story. I think she's absolutely the most incredible woman. She's such an amazing mom. She's like, all, she's just like me. Every time we talk on the phone, our kids are screaming and going crazy. And um, we're just trying to, you know, make it. And that's why we connect so well. So I'm so glad that she got to get on here and um, share her story with you guys. I hope that it was inspiring. I hope that you guys um, really sit down tonight and think about not only yourselves, but the people that you are going to impact um, over this next year. And I um, love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later.